I used to do both. I'm going to give him one trail ration for eating. Okay. Excuse me. With the equivalent of a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you Not retire. Uh, the professor has a question for you. Uh huh. Professor, could you ask Mahanam for the book? Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh Mahanam, uh, the book of familiars, please. Uh, okay. It's a tight fit, but the book comes clanging out. There I'll you go. Press to digitate that off and uh, uh, spend the evening um, near the professor and maybe the reading room. Um, reading. All right. So, professor in the occult parlor, the Pharisee in the study. Yeah, I'll pass out in the occult parlor. Sort of like when you're drunk and you get home late at night and you have all these grandiose things you're going to do and they're all sort of half out and you pass out on the couch. <laughs> that would be me in the occult parlor with all my bizarre accoutrements. Somehow I'm picturing that this is a life uh, experience <laughs> being translated into D&D. Mand Mandrea spends some time praying to his god before going to bed. Ludo, how are you spending that evening? Ludo is going to um, tinker a bit with his alchemist set. He's a bit tired from his going brain dead for a good portion of the fight. Um, And then he's going to kind of hang out and practice acrobatics. Okay. Uh, the night goes by. Uh, give me a Knowledge Arcana um, check as you're studying the book. Fifteen. Dude, so many low rolls tonight for us. Um, you start to get hints that there may be ways to make familiars existing ones even more powerful, okay. um, but you haven't stumbled across the exact ritual, and you start yeah. to realize that, that a madman wrote this book, that there may be subtexts and hidden images and rituals that go across the pages. There's, there's a lot to learn here. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Um, it hints that Pixel yeah. could be much more. Okay. Uh, it also hints that any familiar could be much more yeah. than, than what it is. Can I can I tell anything about uh, the? Is there any any uh, tips and tricks for that ritual with the hand? Things to watch out for. Uh, the hand itself had its own page with yeah. how to bond with the hand. So yeah. Um, not necessarily. Okay. You know that it's different because the hand is is an undead creature, mm -hmm. and there are some weird inflections that you need to make during the ritual so that you can bond with undead as opposed to a living okay. familiar. Yeah, sounds good. P Pixel stays near because she can feel that you're interested in stuff that's about her, and she just has this because of the uh, uh, the bond that you have, this instinct to stay near. Yeah. Uh, Mal, but you can see. Oh, yes, yes, I, yes. You are the one that I'm going to squish in the end. <laughs> no, Mal, but we will help you, but if you... I'll tell you what. Huh? I'll make you a deal. Uh, Malbert likes deals. You notice he's got a little uh, a little glass vial that he might have nicked from one of the alchemy labs, um, and he's got what look like spiders inside of the vial. I want to make a contract with you. Uh, Malbert is not a very good for nothing at this point in time. He has a contract on his head. He wants to very much keep his head. Yes. Any exposure out there will will make. No. The risk too great. This is what the contract will be. I will pay you not to hurt Pixel ever. What would this be worth to you? Not to hurt Pixel ever. Well, I have no... Oh. 
You can't crush her or take her wings or grind her up? What would this be? What would this, what would this be worth? <sighs> what must I give you? What must I promise you? Uh, spider's death! Take, take your time and write it up. And I yes, there are many provisions that might... Yes. I yes. worse Malbert to hurt Pixel, even though Malbert does not want to. Let's make sure that it's well written, so that you won't be coerced in this way. Yes, yes, well written. He Don't give me an out either. Make sure I have to kill this spider. Yes, yes, yes. He shakes, he shakes a little vial. Yeah. Take your time, write it well, and then I will sign it, and you will sign it, and we will have made a bond, a sacred bond, before your many-handed god. Oh, yeah, that's great. You gotta keep him, gotta keep him busy, you know? <laughs> he, 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 bobs, he bobs his head up and down and... I, and uh, I gave him a chance at sanity, guys. <laughs> and goes running out of the room. welcome, Ahmed. Uh, he, he has in his hands this vial, which you think as he goes by, there was one moving spider and a couple that look crippled or, like, dead inside the vial. Yeah. He's probably... He'll be fine. That'll keep him... Occupied. Got to grow you big and fat and squish you in the end of you. You hear him say? <laughs> I, I totally thought when he was talking about squishing things that he was talking about Pixel. No, he actually was talking about the spiders in his vial. That makes more sense. All the same. Pixel comes well over. Thanks for looking out for me. She says it with her seven inch or whatever. <laughs> she's, she's happy she's got a great master. This room needs more color. <laughs> That's where the conversation ends up going. All right, the night turns into day. Uh, it is now a day after where the, uh, or two days after um, where the king was supposed to make his speech. This is the second of summer. Next day. So um, on the 90th of spring, you went to the Plateau Machilo, Zephyrus registers, became the Sovereign's Museum, party finds and spends the evening at 42 Aldrich Lane. Uh -huh. On the first of summer, you rested at home, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Summer two, you, uh, you made the, uh, the replica um, mm -hmm. of hand and visit museum. And that was the day that and uh, sovereign King Eodred the second dies. Uh, uh, rumor, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. True, but there true. are riots. Okay. Riots in the in the streets. Calling out around the world. <laughs> Was it a boy and Jagger there for the for the kids? <laughs> that is the most awkward music. Video oh my of god! All yeah. Time. yeah, yeah, so true, so true. And like that's really not that's really not Bowie's style there either, is it? No. That it really doesn't seem like a. The whole thing is just like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. Okay, next morning. What are you guys doing? You seem to be quite isolated in your, uh, oh. in your, in your, re your manner-like retreat. I think we're going to want to go into town and figure out what's happening. I am gonna... There might be rumors. I really start in on bonding with this hand. Oh, once I'm ready to start the ritual, I'm gonna take it out of my pouch. Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, illusionist that you're allowed, uh, familiar? Okay. You're, you're getting your familiar through your illusionist class, yes. is my question. Yes. English. Um, you know that this bonding ritual will take, I believe, oh, eight hours to complete. I'm gonna get on it early after I have my morning tea or whatever. And the ritual will cost 200 gold pieces per wizard level. <sighs> However, given that this is a class ability that you um, that you got, your first familiar, I will say, is free. Oh, thank God. Otherwise, <laughs> well, back to the streets, boys. 
so yeah, um, morning turns to late afternoon as uh, as uh, the professor is is trying to cast his spell on his um, uh, on the hand. What is everyone else doing? I th I suppose he get, gets the book back from Ferrisay to do that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm gonna uh uh, Pixel and I are gonna uh fly around in the the forest. Okay, you guys are scouting. Uh, Manny Manny goes and finds Ludo. Uh, I guess Ludo slept in because he got drunk the next day. You're just sort of hanging out in Ludo's lounge. So what do you make of this? All of this? The king? Well, yeah, all of it. We got this matter. Kind of poor. But we got enough to eat. Speak for yourself. Not enough to retire. Well, I mean... We could start a little garden, I guess, if you're worried about being hungry. And we could retire together, me and you gardeners. How does that sound? Though. No. Yeah, it sounds pretty bad. Zalara, it's, uh, that dwarf. I, I'm dreaming of battles that I've... Battles from a long time ago. Ah, you're battle-hungry, huh? There's war coming. I, I think you're on to something, Manny. The king gone, there's only about to be a power struggle. So what side are we on? The side that wins, as I wink at him. Mm. Our own side? Of course, first and foremost. Yeah. Mysterious occult noises and chanting. <laughs> the, weird, the weird flicker coming from under the door. <laughs> what do you think he's working on in there? I saw him doing something weird with that hand. <laughs> I bet he was. <laughs> Sticking it in his pouch. In and out. <laughs> really into the body parts, that one. He's... He's going to get us into trouble. What if, uh, he, he was talking about a book where he becomes a god? I think that could translate into a king? Yeah, the book I still want to read from. It's going to tell me all about the Iron God. Oh, yes. I, I promised know. Tech that I'd read it to him. Where is Tech? I don't know, he's in his weird den. Ugh. Place reeks. Well... You haven't seen a rat or a mouse since he moved in, though. Yeah, it's been nice. Or was was there a cat around here before me? Huh. Malbot's looking oh, like he's... <laughs> Going nuts, yes. Maybe we should take care of his little problem and ease some of his stress. Hmm. Sounds like a good fight. And that would also cure your bloodlust. It's a win-win. And we might find some money on our way to it. Pharisee will be in. Any fucker that is grinding up fairies for whatever, probably she won't like. Yeah, almost guaranteed. Why don't we give her a visit? Where is she? Oh, yeah, you're upstairs room, too. I got a feeling that if we don't yank Sephiroth out, he's just going to stay in his room and play with his book. Yeah, yes, I'm afraid so as well. He's a dry one, isn't he? Saints. <laughs> Tuskers. Whatever. Well then, he, Manny. He, he fights. <laughs> I got no problems with that. That's him. good enough for you, isn't it? Well, Manny, what do you say we gather the troops, see what their plans are, maybe save the professor for our last visit due to the disturbing chance and odd glows under the door. I feel like we need to give him a little bit of time with that hand. <laughs> I'll try to show back up reasonably well before the end of the ritual. Yeah, give me so a I can kind of see it end. Perception check while you're uh, while you're flying around. Pixel can aid you. You guys just go bobbing around. Maybe a half yeah. mile circle around the around the manor. Let's try and fly up and see if we see like parts of the city burning or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> Well, I may as well not go into town today, because it's burned to the ground. <laughs> Pixel does, in fact, aid me. Good. 
And so I'm at plus 14. 25. You do see some strange reddish glows coming from the vicinity of the plateau as well as the slough. Mm. It's not the entire town, but you would say that there's a collection of fires that are perhaps... Uh, <laughs> uh, Wondrous. Guys, this man is the best thing that happened to us. <laughs> yeah. What is it we just wait here until this all blows over? <laughs> there's no money in that. Okay, uh, 25, you thought for a moment you saw some movement in the forest. It was a humanoid shadow, um, medium sized, that you saw kind of far off. It was looking at you perhaps, and then it moved behind a tree, and when you went closer to, or like a different vantage point and angle, you didn't see it any longer. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was um, deeper into the, into the valley. Okay. There are some humanoid things around the valley. Mm, satyrs are humanoid. It did have horns. You thought for a moment it could have been a helm, or maybe it was a satyr. Alright. I'll report back that there's. It was, a, it was about a mile away from the house. There may still be there may be satyrs about that we shouldn't be worried about. Okay. Farisay returns. Sephiros is just lost in his books, whereas um Henry Sinclair Chalmers the third. Yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out. That Solaris silver glass grind tool. What is that took? Oh, you're just making. Uh, you're just making probably pictures. Probably decided I could make tokens, so I put it in, uh, okay. in my. Since it's rather large, I'm not going to just carry that thing around. It's on permanent loan from. <laughs> that place. There's Professor and the Hand. So you've got the book out on the table, a bunch of candles, you've written a arcane circle on the table, you've got the candles burning on it, and the hand is in the center. You have, you have placed a silver, uh, uh, a silver um, a bracelet around it, sort of pinning it down a little bit, and it's twitching as you're encanting from the book. As you are becoming the master, in a long line of masters, the crawling hand of the archmage. Mickey Mouse is the first founder, one of the founders of the Archimacrum itself. Your heart sinks a little bit just thinking that there are two red gems out there that if you had, your familiar would be the penultimate of familiars. Unfortunately, only one gem remains on the arcane bond ring that the wizard once used. This ring would be required by Icky Macer if he was ever brought back to life to cast his spells. <laughs> nice. Grim thoughts fill your head as you as you read aloud uh, incantations that have not been read aloud in perhaps decades, if not a century. The uh, the the hand twitches with glee, um, or is it you twitching with glee and the hand just twitching uh, as as it's slowly coming to life as you lace magic upon uh, upon itself so that you become the master of this creature. It. It is now alive after eight hours of intonations and, and drawing upon this circle, making you the master of the creature. The bond takes hold and you can feel uh, uh, excitement, a mixture of excitement and some like grumpy pain. <laughs> emoting, from the, uh, emoting from the hand. The hand's just sitting there. It's not doing anything. It's kind of anticlimactic that you finish the ritual and it's not. The silver chain sort of bubbled and almost like turned to smoke, like right off of it. Um, it sublimated as, as it as it represented the bond that you made with it for for a brief moment. Your own hand, your left hand, had a had a, the same chain mark uh, appear around your wrist at the same location where the hand was was cut off from the uh, the master's hand. <laughs> Your hand really, really aches. Your left hand feels like it's got, like, super arthritis or something. Hmm. Super arthritis. Arthritis is normal today, yeah. 
For an old man, that's not... I think it must have worked, huh? Okay, when you shake your hand, you notice the hand kind of shakes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Nerd. My name is Professor Henry Sinclair Chalmers III, Professor Matabata Master University Emeritus, of course. It starts tapping its finger on, on the page like it's waiting. Nice to meet you, and I will hold up my hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was like waiting for you to finish. <laughs> okay, it it stops like when you thrust your hand straight towards it. Are you shaking with your left hand? No, I will look and realize that it's a left hand, and then put out my left hand instead. <laughs> okay, it's bemused. <laughs> Um, I will tentatively, I'm sure, reach down and grab its pointer finger and shake it with my left hand. <laughs> okay, so when it does that, and I will it, it's my feeling mischievous and it grabs your hand with a vice grip. Give me an opposed strength check. <laughs> it is much stronger than I am. <laughs> now, you could apply your entire body, but I, I just want the first sort of like right. initial squeeze as the uh, as the familiar is... Squeezing your hand back. Crawling hand to the Archmage has a plus thir has a 13 on its strength, so it's plus one. What's your strength, Professor? I roll really well. 16 total? Okay, it, it gives you a squeeze, but oh. eventually you, you, you're able to match its squeeze. Quite the grip you've got on you. It's like tapping you like, let me go. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, of course. Ah. It, it, it lands down in all, uh, on, all, on all fives, I guess, and kind of scampers closer towards you. Well, uh, I suppose we should go and meet the others then, eh? Hey. Um, you don't say much, do you? It shakes its, its hand like, nope. <laughs> Finger like, nope. Okay, well, brevity is a virtue, I'd say. I will cast Unseen Servant, and I will say, yeah. It, it, it goes onto its severed part, and it balances that way, and it actually flashes you a few uh, hand signals. Ooh. Do you have Speak with Master Power yet, or...? Uh, what level does that kick in? I think it might be five. No, you don't have. You don't understand the, uh, the language it's trying to speak to you in. <laughs> Hmm. Not sure what that says. It then kind of goes around like this and flips you the bird. <laughs> <laughs> and then goes down on all five fingers and then scurries off the table and just sort of disappears off the table. It's it's fucking quick and it seems to be able to climb very well. It has a 30 movement. A 40 foot movement and a 40 climb. Whoa. A moment later it's on top of a bookshelf high up. I will wow. try a different tactic. Kicking at some dust bunnies at the top of the bookshelf. <laughs> and in the language of the dead, I will say, Do you understand this? Uh, do familiars get just one language? Give me a second. It speaks common. It speaks straight common. Oh, okay. Well, hmm. I would think familiars would be more obedient, but as it were, I suppose. Would you? What did you tell it to do? I said we were going to go downstairs and meet the others. Okay. Well, he's on the bookshelf right near the door. Oh. Well, if you don't want to crawl on the floor, uh, I will ask the unseen servant to pick the hand up. Now it it seems to um, jump from the bookshelf. It lands on the uh, it lands on the um, the doorknob. It twists the doorknob. The door opens a little bit. It falls onto the ground, and then it goes outside the door. Yeah, zip yourself. It's been doing this for a while. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty spry at your age, I see. I wish I could move like that. <laughs> it, it it you could see it like. Hiding along the sides of the walls, it's it scampers along like you're slower than it, so it scampers and then waits and scampers and waits. Uh, fellow, eh? 
Perhaps you stay hidden as long as you can when we head downstairs. Its stealth is plus as a diminutive creature. Um, oh, did I not put the... one rank in stealth? Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is uh, put this creature creature's uh, stats next to yours. Yeah, I was thinking, should it? Should I just create a? Uh, Don't worry, I'll, I'll I'll do I'll do it later. I've done it with a few others uh, the same way I did it with Ferrise. You look at her her skill sheet um, because it's based off of your ranks or its ranks. Okay. Most of the time, it gets your ranks. So this creature's stealth for now, uh, we can we can just figure it out as a um, bonus. I'll put it at the top, and we can uh, its stealth. Uh, what is Pixel's bonus to stealth? Pixel's for size, bonus to stealth for size. Twelve, sixteen, something like that. Sixteen. So it is slightly bigger than Pixel, so it's plus eight. It has one rank, it is class skill, so that's plus four, plus 12, plus its dex. <clears throat> and its dex is 12, so it's got a plus 13 stealth. Plus 13 stealth? Yeah. Yeah. So it's scampering along, it stops for a moment, and you guys hear a knock at the door. Me and Manny do? Yep, and then you heard like, like a cat skittering away? I think I heard that cat we were mentioning earlier. I'm gonna <laughs> man, man, walk he the door. Man, he opens the door. <laughs> professor's there. The professor will just smile up at him. You not say anything. You knocked. Did I? <laughs> I think everyone's going nuts in this house. There's a spider on his shoulder. Something crawled up behind him and is now on his uh, on his shoulder as the hand is. Just hanging out on the professor's shoulder. Ludo's gonna lurch back, trip over his little coffee table, <laughs> and spill everything that was on it. What the fuck? It's alive then. Yeah, it gives you a little shake, like no. It's not dead quite, then. Mandrius, not quite. <laughs> it's a happy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> happy the hand. You're disgusting, but I like you. I'll walk over to it. <laughs> Even more now. Relatively <laughs> quietly. Yep. And wave and and Are you are you waving at the hand? Yeah. I also have a little gem circling my head that makes me constantly invisible to undead. Can the hand see me? It's Ooh. got a mind. So I think so it gets it's a sick. saving throw. Okay. Uh plus four on its save. Go ahead. Luke. No. Is this a will? Yep. DC 16. And you said he's plus four on will saves? Yep. Cool. Well, he doesn't make it. Okay, so he's not reacting to you. <laughs> Ferris looks pleased with herself. She does have a purple iron stone floating around her head as the party is starting to uh, coalesce. Well, say hi to Ferris, eh? Yes, Ferrisay, right there. He, he's, it's pointing up at Pixel. Well, yes, reason. they have to Pixel too, I suppose. <laughs> Pixel goes near the hand, the hand tries to grab Pixel, and she... No. It, it seems pleased with itself. It's, it's, <laughs> it's mischievous. <laughs> oh, oh, got you there, Pixel, didn't it? <laughs> well, shall we have breakfast? I've had breakfast. I think it's time for close to dinner. Okay. The kitchen is a good place to congregate. Um, Zephyros is down there already. You notice Malbut playing with the uh, the small with several small vials that might have come from Ludo's uh, alchemy lab. Bastard. <laughs> he shifts slightly when when Ludo comes into the room, uh, but he does. He's definitely playing with the spiders. Ah, beautiful vials! Have we heard any news from town? No, but I did see some fires burning. Ooh. Uh, both on the plateau and in the... 
glad to hear we have this country. <laughs> Malbert's like, ah! when he sees the crawling hand. It, it looks like a spider for a moment there. Mm. Oh no, he's getting away. He's, he's got one vial, which, which looks like a bunch of dead spiders in it. And he's got another vial and he captures, <laughs> it, captures the, the big spider and puts it back into a vial he's got in front of him. Oh, yeah, whatever spider he's got in there has grown pretty big. It's about twice as big as the other ones. Uh, no, but what are you doing with these uh, spiders? This is uh, the champion here. The champion? Whenever I catch a spider, I make the spiders fight. Oh. Wonderful. For a particular reason? Or? We should take bets on it. Mm, yes, you would have lost. <laughs> hmm. It's the spiders oh, in the way. Okay, buddy. Are you hungry? You've been taking care of yourself? Oh, yes. Mom, but it's well fed. He looks, he looks a little thin, actually. You're not eating spiders, are you? No, Mom, but we're not oh, good. Those things. No, You're not. not the champion. Um, wasn't there something about people who lived in this house going insane or something like that? Yeah, maybe. Mom, when we go out next, you might want to come with us. I don't oh, know. he'll be fine. I've got a new little body on your shoulder. Oh, yes, Malcolm. Say hello. Hello. Hey, you may so. What's left of you? This is Malcolm. It's now doing. Uh, it's now doing like a queen sort of like hello to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not facing in Ferris's direction. <laughs> Excellent. It's fucking weird. <laughs> Says Manny. That's probably the closest thing to a compliment that he would give it. Ah. We risked our necks for that. That it'd be worth it. He chops some meat with his with, with his chop. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, the the tusker's uh, trunk. He made sure it wasn't on the table around Manny. Like it actually like, chopped off. <laughs> Manny's throwing some. Meat on a, on a skillet. It was fun. It was quite exhilarating. Honestly, the most fun I've had in quite a number of years. Hmm. Ah, but now that that is done and bonded, I think it may be time to refocus our efforts on uh, Zalara. We've gone to that hut quite a few times, and we still don't know what happens when we activate the floor. After our last bit of rest, I have acquired a teleportation spell. We could activate the dimensional lock there. Do you know the final, the final words for it? Oh, I'm sure with a bit of study we can figure it out shortly. We could also take advantage of the chaos to find and kill this spider. <laughs> Malvick perks up at this. I'm a bit worried about going into town while it's mostly on fire, though. <laughs> we don't know what's happening. That's the best time to go into town. I smell money. Yeah. An adventure. And a chance to take down a gang with the leader known as Spider. We could rob the assholes that are robbing. That's true. Sure. It is just rather dangerous to go into a large city that's in the middle of a revolution, or civil war, or a riot, or what have you. Not a lot of people ask questions, they mostly just blast you and steal your possessions. <laughs> that was what the slew was like already. True. I mean, sort of. It would be even more lawless now, I think. So, we could go around and cast spells and no one would come and try and hunt us down and make us register? I am already registered. <laughs> True. But no one would make me register, is what you're saying? That sounds like an improvement. We could have a look around. I just want everyone to know that it is going to be a deal more dangerous. 
We should have some sort of plan. Hmm. True. True. Well, what we can go to, uh, we can go to some lengths to to hide ourselves and appear innocuous and poor. Oh, innocuous folk are the type that get preyed upon by ravaging gangs. Not poor folks. Mm, poor folks are often hurt just for spite, for fun. Yes, but then we'll kill those people. True. Because we're not actually weak. I suppose if you want to go into town, it would be worth checking on... Uh, what was her name again? Uh, your child. Yes. Yes. a bit frightened. I'm sure. She may have acquired many things in the chaos. Mm. I'll bet that uh, uh, in the slew, uh, what's his name? Um, the guy that runs the the pearl. Sai. I'll bet Sai has managed to mm, keep a semblance of of order in the slew. He may not be too happy to see us. We are a couple months outstanding on his contract to put Zalara's spirit to rest. We've done quite a bit. Her spirit is, I think, not haunting that place anymore. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was still haunting it last we checked. Was it? Uh, I think we asked him about it. Who? Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, last time we were there, he was, like, yep. nothing had changed. Zalara was still pretty unrested. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should open the portal. Alright, your, your group is gathered. Tech comes there to slaughter some trio of possums, it looks like he, uh, <laughs> that, that he killed. You guys have trained Tech to do the butchering in a, in a in a basin in this in this area. Oh, very civilized of you, Mr. Kikat. How are your eyes? Oh, functioning today, thank you. Good. You are no good to us without eyes. No, no good at all. I need them for reading. Not sure exactly what tech it means by that. <laughs> Alright, what are you guys doing? Well, it sounds like we've got two options here. We can... Go see how size holding up. Yeah, and do some exploring of the slew and whatever chaos is happening in the city, or Sorry, we can pull on the Zalara threads a little more. I think those are those are options. The other thing we could do is get out of town and go to the desert. I do have some things to do in Bostera. I need to bring my master's bones back to his people. Oh, that's right. If things do get bad in the city, I propose that we go to Bostera Station. Yes. Hmm. It's nice little trip. We're going to be going in and out of that hut a great deal, so getting a better understanding of what the nature of it is might be a good idea. Mabba thinks that we should go and deal with the spider. I bet. I bet, Malbert. <laughs> what do you bet? Oh, I haven't found another spider yet. No more betting. Okay. Well, you let me know, and then we'll have a nice bet. He nods. He's looking at the the weird hand, which is new. And would you like to fight uh, your spider against this spider? I'll say as I tap uh, Icky Maester's severed left hand. No, he does not want to do that. No, no takers on this one. No. <laughs> uh. Ludo is up for a sunny vacation. He's been in the saloon a lot, long time. Um, everything's obviously gone to shit here. Sai probably actually competes a bit with the spider. 
also maybe possible. we should might, go back. Might be happy to have him killed. Go back to Slu and. So I might have more insight on what exactly is going on around here. Check in on the girl and the other people. Yes, I would want to make sure that my master's house is barricaded if there are riots. Indeed. Do you have his bones yet? Yes. Oh. Gosh. He goes and fetches the bones. In a few minutes, you guys have gathered your gear for adventuring. That's Malbut's cool. like, I will uh, go and go and get contract. I am working on the contract, fair say. Don't you worry. It will be the perfect contract. Excellent. I know it will be great. Where are you guys headed? It sounds like we are going to go to the slough, probably by way of the professor's apartment. Cool. But when we stop in the hut, I think the professor is going to want to take another crack at the word puzzle on the ground. Have you leveled since? Yes. This was in the stalls in the stalls. Quite a few mm -hmm. levels before. Okay, give me a uh, D eighty one. I've got it. Oh, good luck. One D eighty one. Seventy nine. Okay, I'm going to take that down to eighty. Uh, you get to the hut. I'm just going to put you guys on a different map, but there's the group of you. Uh, you get to the hut, you linger there for a let's, little while. Let's bring a little bit of, um, uh, like, possum guts or something. Okay. Like yeah, you can bring the butchered possum from, from Tech. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You notice Vladimir, uh, the pillow is on the ground, actually, from the bed where you left it. You might have batted it off there, but Could be. Yeah. Uh, you notice that he's actually on all fours and licking from the, licking from the tub. Ah, nice. We brought you some uh, meat, some possum. It's like a big rat. <laughs> you don't have to say him twice. He fucking like saunters right up, right up to Farisay and actually rubs up against her. And and there, you you swear Vladimir uh, Vladimir purred ever so slightly, like almost like he's forgotten how. Or it's a, it's a it's a muscle that is not well. Uh, I'll set the set the the meat down then. And... Okay, he. Kind of picking it up. It's a little too heavy for him just to just pick up, and he just drags it underneath the bed. Yep. I'll grab my pillow and set it on the chair. And um, and the question was it. the question was what? Uh, the question was it was do you know why the necrophilius came into the hut? Ten words, right? Yeah. They do that sometimes. <laughs> no, I, Russian, sorry. They do that sometimes. It bit something. She tends to them. So we just have to be careful. Vladimir is distracted by the, the dead possum. You can hear him kind of like pulling at the meat and scratching at it and licking it. Just this constant licking noise from underneath the bed. <laughs> Sounds cat-like, yeah. I've had cats before. Yep. Yeah. You get me to describe a dog, I'm like, ah, it's dumb and it fucking smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do dogs. <laughs> it's so needy. It's so needy. <laughs> oh. As the two dog lovers in the room are not laughing right. along with me. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny, Marty. Oh, funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dog okay, so you're looking at the uh, at the the 
the runes that are at the center of the room, and you guys know what from these runes again? You know that they're written written in Hedean or the uh, language of the underworld, mm. plus magic. Lovely. You know that it requires a translation of the runes plus a spell with a teleportation subschool mm -hmm. to open. Yeah. Yep. And there might have been a, a third sacrifice. thing that was also easy. Oh, and a sacrifice. Oh, a sacrifice. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we know... A sacrifice of a living thing. We know it's an elaborate dimensional lock. It's used by the night hags. It guards portals to haze. It requires a sacrifice to open. The short ritual is a word, a sacrifice, a teleportation spell. The light sacrifice can be small. Usually the word is in the drawing. In Hedean, as you said. Um, I'll sort of spread out my materials as I take a look at it. Okay. I, I'm going to cast Comprehend Languages on myself. Nice. Even though I already speak the language, this is a linguistic puzzle, and I feel that about 40 minutes of knowledge of all the languages will probably give me a help. I'll cast a page-bound epiphany and ask the book for tricks for deciphering dimensional locks. And the, in theory, the book will fill with all knowledge in all languages, and I'll be able to read it all now. I'll study that for the total uh, five rounds, I think I can do it. Let me just double check that. And... Yep. Plus five circumstance bonus on the knowledge check just for a trick. I'm trying to just like put all my ducks in a row and then take a crack at this. I'm switching maps again. Hmm. Alright, so, so you get a plus two for the comprehend languages, a plus two of uh, the bonus from your book of uh, stacks. Um, so Fearless gives you a plus two because he's just eating. Okay. I can give you a plus one from time to inspiration. If it's not like a long study thing, but uh, see if I can read it thing. Yeah, it's happening quick enough. So that's a plus 10 so far from AIDS. And this is a linguistics check? I, I'm only giving you the plus, I'm only giving you a plus one. Okay. Yeah, that's two from Zephyros, two from Comprehend Languages, five from Page right. Bound yeah. Epiphany. Yep. One from Timely Inspiration. Yep. And you said you read Hedean? Uh, I speak the language of the dead, which is what I thought you said the first time. Yep. You can get a plus two for that as well. Uh, so that's 12, and this is a linguistics check? Yes. So that puts me at plus 23. And I rolled a five. <laughs> 28. Is that enough to get it? Is my familiar add any bonuses hanging out with me? Oh, uh, yeah, it can, it can attempt to aid. It gets your ranks and minus its uh, int. So. Minus two. Roll a d20. Oh, what is... It's minus two for its int. Yep. It would be linguistics. I and your ranks in linguistics. I have two ranks in it. So plus zero. 50-50. Okay. If you roll 10 or above, you understand what's going on. I got a 10. Wow. <laughs> At first you didn't understand why, why the hand was running around in a circle. The circle it was running around in was clockwise. Um, you realize that the word is changing as the time on the face of a clock is changing. 
And you're pretty certain now that the sacrifice reveals the clock fully. And the word that you need to read um, opens up the ability to cast the conjuration spell like a key. So the word... The word will be revealed through the sacrifice. Okay. Um, and you know that the word is read around it, like the word changes depending on what time it is. You say the word to open the lock and use the spell to use it like a key. The the hand gives you a thumbs up <laughs> before before climbing your leg and disappear tugging at your robe and your shirt to try to get into your uh, into your belly. I'll let it. <laughs> then you lift up the shirt and then it climbs into the little pouch. Yeah, yeah. I'll let it on it. Okay. Some creepy shit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Manny just fucking shivers at that. Uh, I will take out the Harrow deck, now that we've learned this, and I will do a reading at the table here. Okay. Um, give me a profession, um, yep. diviner, or what was fortune it, soothsayer, for, fortune teller? Yeah. Plus the old seven. Fourteen. Trash reading. <laughs> um, can I time the inspiration there? Yeah. I think I'll, you get a bonus. I'll give you a plus one. Fifteen. Fifteen. Zalara feels like she's waiting for something. The cards are giving, like, in some games where there are moves that do nothing or um, the math just adds up to being even, it's superfluous, it's, it's waiting for something. Hmm. Is waiting. You don't get a strong signal from her. In fact, it's kind of, it's kind of much weaker. weaker. Uh, the most telling thing from a 15 because of the divinely inspired reading was that at the center of this waiting, there is a fork in the road. Hmm. A fork in the road at the center of the waiting. What do you suppose that might mean? We'll have to make a choice sometime. High road and a low road. Mm -hmm. Yes, perhaps. Sounds reasonable. Well, I suppose that's that. Shall we carry on to town? Are we going to try to open this, says Zephyrus? I believe we have what is required. Oh, Mokronum does not want to be the sacrifice. Don't worry, Makronam, you are not the sacrifice, Zephyrus. I suppose we could use, uh, what's his name, uh, Stanislav, uh, No. He's got, what, a thousand some lives? He won't miss a few of them to open the portal? That's probably what she kept him around for anyway. It's an interesting thought, but I think if you turn the Kitsune statue from wood back to flesh, that's when it will die. Oh, we get some of those spiders that, uh... We're not sacrificing that. <laughs> Maybe we just get a possum or uh, one of Malbert's spiders, yeah. yeah. Yeah, spider would work fine. Good point. There are probably insects around in the, in the cottage, even. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen much living in here. <laughs> Vladimir must keep it pretty clean. Maybe an upper corner or something. Mm. Let's just go back and get Malvin's spider. <laughs> yeah. 
Tell you shit about it. Sure. It seems risky, but we are here. Okay, are you following Manny? He walks to the front door. Mm. He's waiting for Ludo. Yeah. I'll go with you. Okay. Oh, if they're going outside, I'll study the portal some more. See what I can learn about it. Yeah. Zephyrus and you are kind of squatting in the port portal. Tech, Tech is just going to guard wherever the queen goes, so she he goes with her. You uh, leave the hut, returning to uh, see Malbut at a writing desk, um, like ripped up and crumpled up pages all around him in a half circle. This will be the best contract. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, well, you guys went all the way back to the... To the manor? Yeah. yeah. Hey, buddy. Huh? Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, you brought everyone here. I think, uh, think we could borrow one of your spiders? I only have champion. Can we... There'll be other champions, right? I've fed him over 16 spiders. Hmm. Who's with us? Manny, give us the damn spider. Oh! <laughs> I guess we could find one to kill. Tech just looks back at Ferrisay. You know where more spiders are? Good there's, ones? There's a whole cottage full of spiders. <laughs> yes, yes, there are still some that are creeping around. I have, I have laid little traps for them. Oh, good. Can you check those and possibly bring one back? Oh, I've already checked them for the day. No, God, they won't damn it, spiders. Now. <laughs> uh, eh, champion. Give it here. <laughs> Fucking he just goes over and bends his arm and a little vial goes onto the table, <laughs> spilling some of his ink. Pick up a bug from outside. <laughs> Tech, with one of his hands, snatches the vial. You have an unhealthy relationship with the spider, Malva. <laughs> Man, he just, he's got no patience for that. Uh, Tech goes down to one knee and offers the uh, <laughs> offers the vial with the spider in it to uh, the queen. Nice. <laughs> Interesting. You can work this into the contract. <clears throat> in fact, if you want to see a good contract, I think the lock on that portal is is like a contract. Come on, come into the hut with us. Oh, okay, it's safe in the hut, right? Yes, I guess. <laughs> come on. <laughs> just manhandling him. He's not <laughs> asking him to do things. He just grabs him. Grab your stuff. Man, okay, okay. Man's got no time. No, he just doesn't doesn't know how to handle now, but. Pretty soon, the uh, the hut entrance is opening as Manny's like almost pushing Malbut through, uh, kicking his equipment along with him. Uh, tech Tech comes over and actually he he does a perimeter search. <laughs> it's, it's like it, it's like he's just tireless and just knows. Uh, <clears throat> Sounds good. Uh, Farisay, what are you doing with little uh, little thing? Oh, I'm bringing it over, and I'm going we to... We brought the sacrifice, and the way that Manny said that, he did not intend it to be look like Malbut, but the way he's just sort of kicking and moving Malbut along. <laughs> I'll, I'll place the spider in the center of the circle. Okay. Uh, in the vial still. Vladimir did not come up from underneath the bed and is just watching you with his different colored eyes. The spider is small. It's like... Size of a coin. Tech finishes his perimeter search and just joins, joins the group. Well, we don't know what's going to happen when we finish this, so uh, we might want to take some precautions. I will You're put the armor on for sure. Read the word and cast the spell. What's that? You're going to read the word and cast the spell. Oh, well, I can do the sacrifice, okay. and read the word, and we can see what happens. Chuck takes out his weapons and poises himself above the uh, above the circle like he's going to attack something. 
Uh, Manny just pulls Malbut back and shoves him behind the desk and takes cover behind it and just sort of like nods over at one of the one of the uh, benches for Ludo to go take cover behind. 